Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is, why did I say it's so funny? This is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the Weekly Contest 392 Minimum Cost Walk in Weighted Graph. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So, this one is actually kind of interesting. I actually like this farm a lot, not gonna lie, except for one caveat, which I'll point out in a sec. Um, yeah. So with this one, the idea is, you know, you have to read through everything, right? I mean, obviously. But yeah, so the short, the first idea that I was just looking through is like, oh, it's the shortest path thing. But the, the, the trick with this one is looking at this cost, right? The cost of a walk is the bit rise end of a lot of weights that you can go. So you can kind of go back and forth. And in this example one, it kind of illustrates this, right? Because even though you're going from zero to three, you also want to go to stop by two to get that one because then you know you the the bitwise end will lower the cost for you and using that same logic the idea is that you want given a graph you want to go through every single edge why do you want to do that because we have the bitwise end and the thing with bitwise end and this is something that you get from experience from, from playing around with different problems and so forth. Um, you definitely can come up with this during the contest. Don't I mean, and I'm sure a lot of people do. But just to be clear, a lot of people who got it very quickly have solved similar problems. Not similar to this problem, but like this part of the problem with Bitwise and and play around with all these properties and, and know this idea that when you Bitwise and more and more numbers, the Bitwise and sum, if you want to call it that, it's just going to get smaller in a greedy kind of way, right? So if you want to minimize that, you want to take all the weights that you can and then bitwise them and all of them. So that's basically the idea. Once you know that idea, then it becomes, okay, then it's a connected uh, component problem, right? And with that, there are a couple of ways you can do it. There's maybe a depth first search with, you know, just like a connected components um, because then now you just do a bitwise on, on all the edges and yeah. Right, and then you just, you know, there are a couple of ways you could do it. Uh, like I said, you could do depth first search, but first search you can do uh, union find, which is the way that I did it. Um, yeah, and I'll go over my code. I mean, I, I didn't do it the other two ways. So, you know, if you are familiar with union find and you did do it with union find, then I would recommend upsolving them practice doing the other two ways. They do come in handy and similar, but obviously, cases that you cannot do union find on perhaps right so definitely practice that but yeah uh, so i have this union find thing and you could if you watch me do it live i just actually type it out pretty quickly i wish i had a template to be honest because it would have saved me like i don't know one minute or something maybe less i don't know you could look at the the tapes uh, and then here I, I i union find all the edges to or i union all the edges to create uh the connected components and then here I basically look at all the edges, right? I have a cost for the components, and here for every U, W, and edges, we know that, well, we already union find these, right? Just to be clear. So we already union these. So in the second loop time around, we could get the root by getting the U union find of the U, which is the same as the V because they have the same component. And then we just get that cost, and then we bitwise end with W. And the reason why I choose this infinity is because if you look at this infinity, this is just all ones, right? So then when you bitwise number, it, this number will just go down. So that's basically why I chose this infinity and not just like a random big number. Um, yeah, right? And then this basically gives us cost for every component. And with that, we can just do the query. Uh, yeah, ignoring this for a second, basically we find the component of s component of t if they're in the same component then you walk through the entire connected component which is cost of you know rs which is the same of srt because they're the same otherwise they're not connected components so there's negative one because they're just not connected right um the the problem with this problem the issue that i and josh uh and a couple of people on my discord have with this problem is that the empty path is not defined. I don't know if this is defined in chi the Chinese lead code, to be honest. Um, yeah, uh, I, I don't know if this is on, on yeah, like I said, I, I don't know if this is in the Chinese lead code or not. Though I don't think so, because I remember when I saw the leaderboard in China, Chinese leaderboard, 
it had a lot of wrong answers as well for this one, so I think not. But the thing is that if you have an empty path, they want the answer to be zero, which is not really defined. And that's basically where I got my wrong answer. And I kind of tried to find this and yeah, um, basically because there is a walk, but it is not clear that taking like, um, like a path of zero edges is not, you know, like it's not clear that it should be zero. Like it should be undefined, I guess. Unless they defined it, right? So that's why I got the wrong answer. Um, and this is why I added. And I actually, if you watch the live tapes, uh, I actually made a silly mistake on this one as well because I misunderstood why. Uh, or like I fixed it for one possible case, but then I had to fix it again. So I got two wrong answers and it knocked my ranking down a lot. Or ranking and rating, I suppose, uh, down a lot on this one. But otherwise, this was pretty um, pretty good problem. Like I said, I actually like the idea about this one. It is, you know, kind of interesting. Uh, it is unfortunate that they didn't define that part. Uh, my hope is that they regrade this by taking out the, the weird edge cases. But, uh, but yeah. Um, what is the com complexity here, right? So for each edge, we do a union. For each edge, we do a fine. So that means that, you know, for each edge, it's just going to be linear, assuming that this is roughly constant. If you want to quote me the inverse argument thing, fine. I'm just going to say it's roughly constant, all right? Uh, so yeah, so this is roughly linear in the size of the input. Remember that the size of the input is edges. And then this is linear in the size of the uh, output and queries. So yeah, so this is going to be, let's say this edges is E, Q is query. Then this is going to be O of E plus Q uh, time. And I guess technically n space uh n time as well because we have to do this for loop to initialize it. So this is this, but it's a little bit awkward because n is actually not linear, right? Because n is not the size of the input. But uh, we'll ignore that for now. And actually, I mean that's not true. Or like it is true the way that I implement it, but you can actually implement this in a in a in a edge sensitive kind of way to reduce this to just e plus q. So uh, for now, I would say it's still linear if you want to write it. But basically the idea is just converting this to like a hash table. Uh, but yeah, and then for space, this is gonna be, as I said, the way that we did is n plus e plus time space. Uh, actually, is that true? Is there a plus u space? Am I lying? Uh, maybe there's no plus u space. Okay, so just n plus q space. Uh, yeah, um, okay. But yeah, so that's the time and space. It can be further reduced with a different implementation of union find the e plus q time and o of q space and you can't do better than o of q space uh, or o of e plus q time because those are the lower bounds because that's the size you have to look at the input to answer the problem so that's linear yeah uh that's all i have for this one let me know what you think uh, but yeah that's all i have for this one let me know what you think and yeah uh i'm gonna make this slightly small so you can see the entire thing on one page and yeah you could watch me solve it live in the contest now. That's the definition of median. Okay. That is, I need to define the medians. I, I, that's terrible. Um, okay. 15 people already got this. Let's figure this out. Zero to n minus one. People already finished it. I, uh, I'm, I'm so this because of that median thing. Okay. Focus, focus, focus. A walk is in the start and end and end. Okay. Bit by n, so okay, so okay. Query. <clears throat> Fifteen people we got it. Seventeen people we got it. Hmm. Yeah, my my computer is having issues. 
when it's and and it's a lot. It just is okay. Also, maybe a lot bit. I feel like this is just binary lifting. But because it's an N, it might go farther. Right? Maybe it's the same. Okay, so this is a little bit weird one. So it went seven. Alright, so it's a two. So basically, it's just graph connectivity, right? So it's not that bad. Okay, I sh you could you could solve this, Larry. You're not that much of a dumb dumb today, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I didn't fix my my thing. Uh, you know how to write union fine. That's fine. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Okay, fine, fine. Do I need to convert it to a list then? No, I don't think so. You just union fine, right, Larry? I mean, this could have saved me like a couple of minutes. I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe more with typos. Okay. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> right, and then now we do it again. And then we do it again. And to the fifth, what is that? I don't know what that is. So I'm just gonna do this. Um, okay. All right. And then uh, W. Okay. All right. And up for okay. St in query, we want uh, is it gonna be find of s? Well, mm, If all this is equal to RT, then enter that append um, cost of RS else negative one. Alright. Hopefully, no silly mistake. Oh, so, ooh, no, I have an infinity. Why do I have an infinity? Oh, uh, no. Why did I have infinity? I didn't expect that to be honest. Oh, it's just self with self, but it's not in the thing. Eh, okay, fine. It's because they're the same, so they don't appear. That's a good ass case, but, but screw you. <laughs> I hope this, I don't know, is this good enough? To, I mean, it should fix this case where it doesn't show up, but, alright. Hopefully no other silly one. Oh man, I am. Is this the same case? Is this the same case? I just didn't look at it carefully then. Um, one, why is this one? One, two, three, four, three, three. Should we turn one? 
Why? Oh, it's still the same component. Why does that return? Oh, this is killing me. All right, so that's good. So that means that... Wait, no. Expect is zero. I just didn't look at this one. Okay. Why is that? Why is seven? Oh, seven. Oh, it's still the same with this component. Seven, seven. Okay, so that's wrong. But why, why is this the case? Seven, zero is negative one. Okay, but seven. Did I misread something? Oh no, these are just like things that are not there, right? <clears throat> hmm. Is this why that is? No, this is still wrong. Cause three, three should be one. How? Why is seven seven zero? Why is that not negative one? Is this like some hidden definition again? Because this is bull. <laughs> I don't get this one at all, to be honest. Okay. Like I could solve the three three, that's fair. Maybe. Hmm. Actually, why is that? And I'm, I'm, this should be done, but I'm just so dumb. Four and five, yeah, okay. Four is seven. okay, but isn't three? Oh, uh, three should become one. Why is my answer one? Oh, no, no, it's expected zero. Oh, hmm. So it's just consistent that if it's the same, then it's zero. Is that right? Uh, I guess I should have done it this way. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, mm, I ate some penalties because of it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, this problem, the explanation, or the reading problems. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.